If you want to triple your current fitness business to be able to help more people, to be able to scale your business, to earn the money that you deserve, you really need to be able to master these three skill sets. Now, these three skills I've kind of learned and been able to reflect on. And you, when you're like continuing to scale your business, you're always going to have these little bottlenecks that do pop up. When I was kind of like breaking it down to try and deliver some content for you guys, I really could have wrote a list of like 20 things that you need to hit. Obviously, tripping your business is no easy feat, but I want you to know it can be done. So when I broke them down into the skill sets, it was mindset, into your growth related skills and also your ability to get results repeatedly. Now, with the first one guys being mindset is it's really, really hard to grow and scale a business. So, you know, anyone who kind of says that it's easy, especially in like Facebook ads and things like that, there's so many different dynamics that go into it, into your own personal mindset, your training, your nutrition, how you're managing your relationships, you know, your ability to be resilient, also your um, mindset around being a great leader and being able to delegate things off to your team because essentially if you triple your business you're going to have triple the workload than what you have now which means you need to have the ability to bring on a team so that's why like a lot of like fitness business owners and a lot of like really really powerful mentors um, that you watch is you'll be like aspired to be like them because they're very tough they're very resilient they work incredibly hard they're very consistent they think short term over long term and that's why your personal mindset is something that when you invest time to be able to reflect and to get better always pays off in spades when you're looking to triple your business. I've been lucky to coach like hundreds of different business owners um, in my time. And also I've had, you know, times where my business has gone really well and other times it's gone poorly. And what I've always found is small business owners like you and I are today is that if your mindset is right, you're moving well, you're training well, you're eating well, you've got nice balanced relationships, you're really happy and vibrant and energetic, is your business goes better. And the really great, great quote that I want you to think is especially in that small business owner stage until you hit that one to two million is that your business is a true reflection of yourself. If you're consistent, your business is going to be consistent. If you're motivated and inspired, your business is going to be the same because our business in the smaller scale as we're growing is truly just a reflection of where we're at personally because you're the leader within that business. You're the face of that business. And so that's why developing skills and patterns to be able to master your mindset, to be able to stay focused, to be able to think long-term always really pays off when you want to triple your business. Now, the next one is not going to like blow you away. It's not rocket science, but you must develop growth-related skills. So the best like growth-related skills would be your ability to generate leads and close sales. And if we kind of break that down, it could be how good you can run your Facebook ads or whether you're able to delegate that, your ability to write copy, your ability to create live videos a little bit like this or episodes on your podcast your ability to make like Instagram and TikTok reels if you're using that. So many like different marketing related skills that you need to develop. And that's what's like so hard when you're initially scaling a business. And it's toughest when you're actually smaller because what you're doing, guys, is you're running sessions, you're leading your team, you're trying to be, you know, great with your family and relationships. You've got to learn all these like different like marketing tactics to be able to scale. That's why I always say the bigger the business, the actual safer the business is because you have more team to delivering the work. So there's like less issues that can happen once you have a team performing for you. It doesn't mean all issues go away, definitely not, but it does make your life a little bit easier. So in your initial growth related skills, guys, it's your ability to attract leads, to be able to get people in a sales environment for you, whether that's on the phone or whether you sold face to face like we did in our fitness business. But then also in the growth related skills is your ability to close sales. So there's a lot of different things that, that go into a sales sales process. So, you know, you get a lead, then you've got to get that lead to book a time to chat with you. You've got to make sure that that lead is really excited to attend and you've got double confirmation. You need to make sure that you have sales scripts, especially if down the line you want to bring on a, a salesperson or maybe two within our clubs. We taught all of our trainers to be able to sell our 28 day offer. So we had five salespeople instead of one, which worked really well for us. And then obviously what happens after the sale, so you don't get buyer's remorse. 
else. So, you know, these are just skills um, that you're able to learn. The easiest way to do it, obviously, is to essentially just copy, paste and edit what someone's doing like really, really successfully ahead of you. But it does take like time and patience and a lot of consistency to be able to develop these skills. But it's a little bit like deadlifting, guys. Like when you first started deadlifting, I'm sure you're pretty crappy, which is okay. And now I'm sure you're very efficient. You know how to warm up correctly. You know all the right positions to be in. You know what a good deadlift is, what a bad deadlift is. And the same thing will happen with your growth related skills. You'll be able to break down the different patterns, the different habits that you're doing to make sure that you're really, really successful because we don't build or a, an amazing business or you don't triple your business without sales. So marketing is king and then your sales is queen because with no leads, you can't close anyone, right? But these are skills that you do have to develop. And right now, if you have a goal of tripling your business, you need to be able to triple your lead generation and triple your sales. Will you be able to do this at completion of this episode today? No. If you kind of spend an hour a day studying, reading, actually practicing, putting all the amazing stuff you're learning into action, I have no doubt over a three, six, nine, and 12 month period that you will develop the skills to be able to triple your business, but it just does take time. Nothing is as quick as people lead you to believe. There is no fast way that you can triple your business, right? It's a relentless focus of consistency, learning, being able to take action and then innovating your system so you constantly improve. And then the last one is always results. Guys, we're in the fitness industry to get results, right? When you sit down with a consultation with someone, however you're selling, they have pain points that we need to solve. So I'm sure as a, as a trainer that you're pretty competent in getting amazing results, but we need to be able to scale that across multiple coaches within your business if you do want to triple. And that's where actually having a training system, actually having a nutrition system, having your check-in processes will really, really help so that you are able to triple your business. But if you're able to get all three of these things working in your favor, where your mindset is always right for you, right? Some of the tactics that I use for my mindset might not work for you. And that's why we're always on this amazing journey as fitness business owners and entrepreneurs, which is the hardest job in the world being an entrepreneur, right? We always have to make sure that our mindset is correct and we're able to regulate it if we ever fall off track. Then that you're focusing 80% of your time on improving your marketing and sales ability, right? That's what you should really be studying if you wanna triple your business. And there's a lot of ways it works. There's also a lot of things that you need to learn and to be able to test and implement. And the biggest advice I'll give you is don't be so harsh on yourself. Don't think that you can go from five leads a week to 35 leads a week in two weeks. Understand a process. And what the biggest issue that fitness business owners have is the advice that they'll give a weight loss client, they don't actually take for their own business. For weight loss clients, like, hey, be really consistent, you know, make sure you track your metrics, your KPIs in your business. You know, it does take a little bit of time to get there. But in business, you're like, oh, I want this now. I want to sign 50 members like this month when, you know, maybe last month you only signed two or three members. So you want to be nice and patient. You want to be nice and consistent and then actually create a system to get results repeatedly that isn't relying on you, right? What is your training system? What is your nutrition system? What is your accountability system? Because as you start to scale to double, triple, quadruple your business, which I know everyone listening to this episode can do, without having that repeatability in your results process, you'll be able to sign a lot of people, but they will just leave and they won't be really, really happy with kind of how your program's working and the results that they're getting, and you'll get incredibly frustrated. So guys, I hope that added a little bit of value for you today. As always, guys, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me absolutely anytime on social media. Always love to connect and engage with you guys.